there will be haploid number of chromosomes which is seen in male as well as female gametes so sperm and ova ova will have 23 number of chromosome since they undergo meiotic division and it has got a haploid set of chromosome so whenever this fusion of these sperm and ova that will result in the formation of a zygote and now to detect whether the zygote develops to a male or female fetus so the sex determination so the sex has to be determined so the sex determination actually based on the presence of this sex chromosome so if there is y chromosome and there's a particular sry gene sex determining region in the y chromosome then the gonad that is developing will be testis so this is known as sex determination so the sry gene the sex determining region of the y chromosome is determining the development of the male gonad that is testis and from this testis the fetal testis will be producing mainly two substances two hormone one is testosterone fetal testis will producing testosterone and the other substance that is produced by the testis is the mullerian inhibiting substance mullerian mullerian inhibiting substance so what is the action of this testosterone and this testosterone actually helps in the development of wolfian duct this two ducts you have to remember this is wolfian duct this actually helps in the proliferation of wolfian duct which ultimately helps in the development of male reproductive structures so the testosterone helps in the development of wolfian duct and this wolfian duct actually helps in the development of whenever there is a proliferation or development of wolfian duct it actually helps in the development of the male reproductive structures and this actually this mullerian duct that actually helps in the development of female reproductive structures so the this has to be inhibited so the mullerian duct development has to be inhibited and the wolfian duct development has to be promoted so the testis is producing two substance one hormone the testosterone which helps in the development of the wolfian duct and it produces mullerian inhibiting substance which is capable of inhibiting the mullerian duct development or it causes the or it causes the regression of the mullerian duct so this is about the sex determination and the sexual differentiation sex differentiation so the first the sperm and ova uh, fuse to form the zygote and the sex determination mainly depends upon the chromosome the genes present in the chromosome if there is sry gene present in the y chromosome that determines the gonad that has to be developed is a testis and from the testis due to the tes effect of testosterone and mullerian inhibiting substance there will be proliferation of wolfian duct derivatives next is about the uh, development of female sex determination and the sex differentiation so what happens is like whenever a sperm and ova fuse to form a zygote there is no sry gene if there is no y chromosome if there is no sry gene then there will be development of the female gonads ovary so if there is no sry gene then that bipotential gland will be developing into ovary so actually before the development of this testis or ovary there will be a bipotential gland which is capable of either forming a testis or ovary so if sry gene is there then the bipotential gland will develop into a testis and if sry gene is not there that means the gonad formed will be ovary and in this ovary there will not be any testosterone and there will not be any mullerian inhibiting substance so no testosterone and no mullerian inhibiting substance if there is no testosterone then what will happen 
there will not be any development of the Wolfian duct structures. So there will be regression of the Wolfian duct. Wolfian duct undergoes regression. And there is no mullerian inhibiting substance too. So what will happen? Mullerian inhibiting substance is not there. So that will promote the development of the mullerian duct. So mullerian duct is actually developing into a female reproductive structure. So there will be mullerian duct proliferation happens. So that is why the sex is determined as the mainly the Y chromosome determines the Y chromosome and X chromosome that determines the sex of the baby and if Y chromosome is there then that gonad developing will be a testis. Then if there is testosterone or the presence of MIS promotes the development of the Wolfian duct and if there is no testosterone and no MIS then there will be development or proliferation of the Wolfian duct.